Hey Hivers, back again. This time I'm gonna talk with you about my kindergartner. Um, she is um, super smart and she loves learning. She tends to get a little bit ahead of the game. Um, too, a little too ahead for her brain and some things. Um, I know that sounds really weird, but what I mean by that is like, so she has finished all of the reading stuff that we were doing and um, so we started reading The Mighty Readers, which I talked about in my other video, and she wasn't ready for them. Um, and you read the same story six times and she still wasn't able to comprehend, so her comprehension wasn't as ahead of um, as her reading was. And so we did have to step back a minute. So um, for some things I'm trying to slow her down a little bit, um, but at the same time I do want her to continually love learning. Um, so today I'm going to talk with you about what she's doing this year already and what she's moving into for like continuing on in this year. Again, we do school all year long. That's what works for our family and um, so we just finish whatever books and move into the next one. So I'm going to show you what she's doing now currently and what she will be finishing and moving into or out of. So let's get started. She does her math level K right now. She's in the very beginning of it. Um, and of course, like all master books, it has a schedule. We love our children to be saturated in um, Christ. So we always try to have school that has to do with Jesus. So for the books, the lesson one is where you read a story that connects it back to God. And these books actually have to do with one family in particular, and it goes all the way to level six. So it's super exciting. Um, the family teaches things and they live on a homestead. They do mission trips together and things like that. This is five days and then it starts over a new lesson. So level K is um, five days long. And like for us, we don't follow, you know, five days in particular because we do classical conversations on Tuesdays for us. And so we actually do all of our other school for four days out of the week. And um, because of that, like we won't have five days of activities that day um, or that week. Um, so it kind of like moves on into the next week. But she's doing My Story K. So she just started her history which I love this history because it goes right into connecting it to your life and how you are and how things are. This is a two day. It has a quest card, which I think those are in the back of the book, but I don't ever get them. So it shows you the map for each one and all the numbers are the ones that you'll color in. There's a map at the back of the book. This is for you to know. But there's a map at the back of the book that you can print out and they can color it in. It has a vocabulary word with pictures and it talks about the vocabulary word. And then you go into the scripture card and then my language, you learn how to say thank you in a different language each week. And then for day two, there's an activity. And then you talk about there's questions that go into what you learned about that week and then there's my book time which again is in the back of the book and you can print it out and what it does is it helps them with writing it helps put them like in the shoes of what they're learning so like that first lesson was about culture and it asks like about your culture what's something you always do for thanksgiving or for christmas or something like that um, and so it's very fun in doing that there's also a my story one which my um, first grader will be moving into shortly. She's finishing up my story K. And then they, she is almost done with this book. This book is, I want to say, I'm 
trying to think of like the best way to describe it. You know what, actually life skills. Life skills is the best way to describe it. This book has rhyming, it has Bible time, it's got letters, like practicing writing your letters, um, and it's got life skills. So like you learn how to tie your shoes, or you learn how to sort clothes, or how to put your clothes up in the right, the right section. So each week it's three days. So we start ours on a Wednesday and then we finish on a Friday. And so that was day one. So this is day two that's cutting along the lines there. And then you're, I think you paste it to that picture. Yep. Day two, some more of day two. And then here's day three. We're learning about Joseph and the beautiful coat that his dad made him. Day three, and these little bitty books, those little mini books, um, they're not all the way through the book, but what they do is they help them with reading. And so um, they're super fun to learn from. She's finished with hers because she actually has like one more week of that book and then she'll be done with it. And I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do to put it in the place of that. I might not actually put anything in the place of that. I might just um, allow her more like playtime and things like that. I'm sorry, I thought I, thought I heard my baby. I think we're good. I just gotta try to be quieter. But anyway, um, okay, so she is also doing her science, so this science is pretty new with Master Books, and it's level K for kindergarten. It has a schedule as well. That is actually the materials list, so it will tell you the list that you need for the whole year. And then that is the schedule. It's two days a week. So this is the All About Me, which is the lesson one. There's some writing. There's day two. You learn about, I think, your fingerprints, and then you draw a picture. And so it's just two days. It's super fun. They're little bitty experiments. Most of these experience, experiments don't um, have like anything you have to plan for ahead of time. They're super quick and super easy. And uh, besides paint, I think everything you kind of have on hand, so it's super easy. Um, but she's almost done with that book and she'll be moving into science level one after that. And these, these are super exciting too. And again, I'm pretty sure, yep, that all of these books and these, there are levels K through three. Um, have a materials list of what you'll need for the whole year. This, there's a schedule. This one's a three day. This talks about how we study science. It brings it to scripture and then you imagine that you're in the world of, this is, let's see, who is this? This is Adam. So this is Adam and Eve that you're connecting with there. This is day two, which is the experiment. The experiment tends to always be on day two. Um, the science that my oldest is doing now, that one is still a little confusing, um, but it is a level three, it's just five days. And so their experiment tends to be like two days so far, um, but it hasn't been any anything intense, like it's just been like writing or, um, drawing things so far because she's learning about the boreal forest but this is what um, phoebe will be moving into my kindergartner moving into first grade so she'll be moving into that whenever she finishes this is her handwriting she did level k and now she's moving into this one and it's just these are just copy sheets that she just copies and turns in and then because she's done with her foundations phonics which is supposed to be a first grade level thing um, and she's done with her 
uh, reading, like we have a different reading program that we use that's called Four Weeks to Read It's Learning Dynamics and it is super fun. But because she's done with that and she's done with her foundation phonics, I am out of books for her to read. So I have moved on to the Bob books for now. And um, so far she's doing great with them. Um, because again, the Mighty Reader was just a little too much for her. But anyway, so that is what my kindergartner moving into first grade is doing for this year. That is her um, school books. Again, I am gonna post videos where I go through thoroughly like each book so you can really see because Masterbooks is a great program and it's very scriptural um, and definitely puts God first in everything. But what is kind of hard sometimes is whenever you're ordering things online, um, you aren't able to like look at each page of the book. So you're not able to really like see if that's something that you want for your children. And I actually have a lot of master book books that I'm going to go through. Um, and we're going to learn them together, some of them, because I'm super excited and I am definitely like a lover of master books. Um, it teaches accurate Bible teachings would be the best way to put it. And, um, and I love that. I love that it starts very young. I love that they are not, a lot, not afraid to teach them scripture to put in their hearts and that they base every book, even math, off of the Bible. And it's just so wonderful and so amazing to me. So if you have any questions, I will try to link things below. Um, definitely write comments, share, like this message, and make sure you subscribe. We love you, we're thankful for you, and we are so excited to be on this journey with you. Bye, Hivers.